Good morning, program. Uh, please welcome now to uh, uh, the program from the great state of Arizona, Senator John McCain. Good morning, Senator McCain. Hey, good morning, Don. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you? Well, the hair looks good. I, you're, I, uh, Deirdre's doing a good job there. Actually, actually, I, uh, actually, she doesn't do my hair. She doesn't. Oh. Well, she makes sure that it looks better than it than it used to. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> so I had uh, Megan McCain on here. We used to have her on all the time. And uh, last time I had her on, I man, people just spontaneously would say to me what a great guest she was because she has, she's, well, you know her, she's your daughter, but she's smart, she has a sense of humor, she's self-effacing, all that. And the next thing I know, she's, she's, she goes to work for MSNBC. <laughs> she went over to the dark side, I guess. So I don't, well, I don't have any problem with that, but I mean... I, so I don't know if I can have her on anymore or not. So, I hope that the, uh, I hope she'll be coming on because she has mentioned many times how much she enjoys being on your show. I'm very proud of her. And sure. I'm very proud of all my kids. They're they're really uh, done so well. <laughs> Which shows a lot of things, but uh, I'm I'm proud of all of them, and um, and I'm very proud of her. And uh, she's going to be on MSNBC, as you just mentioned, and uh, I, I'm sure she'll do well. She's she's feisty, also, as you know, and I think being over there, she's going to have to have quite a bit of that. Oh, she'll do fine. Yeah. So, they also had another IFA, uh, Imogene Lloyd Webber. She used to be on with us all the time. And... Well, I hope that uh, I hope that that's not the case. But I didn't know the details of her of her contract, but um, I'm sure she'll. She'll fight saying. for the things that uh, she and I believe in over there, and uh, I wish her every success, obviously. Uh, uh, so do I, by the way. So these, uh, uh, it's not the top of the news, but these this plane that crashed into Superstition Mountain, Yeah. Uh, do you know anything about that? Only what I, news reports, tragic uh, family trying to be together for uh, Thanksgiving. I guess a uh, man was flying his children I, I think with Sholo, I'm not sure. And they, the plane crashed, a light plane crashed into the Superstition Mountains. And um, these things, you don't want to make any judgment until the sure. the uh, investigation is complete. But um, a lot of times, you know what causes light planes to crash, and it's really, it's very tragedy for for the family, obviously, and for all of us here in Arizona. It's too bad. It's so where my brother's ashes, or Fred's ashes, are spread there. At, uh, it's where he wanted them spread at Superstition Mountain. So it's a beautiful place to rest. And Fred, uh, we all loved him, and we won't forget him. And uh, if, uh, that's a beautiful place for him to to spend eternity. And it, because, and it has a lot of interesting history behind it. The superstitions, as you know, that's why they call it that. The sure. Lost, Lost Dutchman's gold mine that people are still looking for, but they kind of cut that back when they when the feds took it over and they can't let people go with a pick and shovel there anymore like they used to my mother's ashes are there fred's dog's ads ashes are there whole family's there <laughs> well, anyway uh now on uh, no, no, top of the news and uh, nato u.s forces yeah. killed 24 pakistani troops pakistan's outraged should they be I think they should be angry whenever something like that happens, uh, and it's a tragedy, and uh, we have expressed uh, our condolences to the, uh, the military commander there and our ambassador and everybody, and we, we regret it enormously. But the fact is we are in a war. These things happen in wars, as tragic as it is. We also have many reasons to be very unhappy with what the Pakistanis have been doing, including the ISI, their intelligence uh, group, supporting the Haqqani network who are killing Americans, including the fact there was another story just the last couple of days about these fertilized, two major fertilizer factories in Pakistan that... Uh, uh, they are their product is exported and it's quickly turned into the basic material for these IEDs that have killed and maimed uh, Americans and they failed to do anything about that and uh, you know uh, again we feel terrible about the loss of any life and there's also reports as has happened in the past of firing across the Pakistani border into Afghanistan against our troops 
So, uh, look, uh, again, I can't repeat often enough how our deep regret, but at the same time, um, the hysteria of the Pakistani um, response, I wish that some of that anger would be directed at their own intelligence service, try to break uh, and stop this export of uh, materials that kill Americans into Afghanistan, and, um, and, you know, and hopefully our relations will... Uh, improve, uh, but there is uh, we give them billions of dollars in aid, as you know, and uh, that is under careful examination here in the Congress. I'm talking with Senator John McCain. It's uh, 15 till the hour here. I'm my program. If you were president, what would you recommend regarding our, our relations with the Pakistan and the foreign aid you just mentioned? Well, first of all, I would base my our relations on the fact uh, that they are the uh, their intelligence agency ISI is supporting Haqqani network which is killing Americans that's a fact and base uh, our our relations on that realism and base our aid on their progress in bringing that situation under control Look, just just last week I had I didn't have to but I called uh, uh, the mother and father of a young man who was killed, uh, Jonathan McCain, by the way, my name, no relation, no. Uh, who was killed uh, just in the last few days. Um, uh, that's tough on families. And if our, quote, ally had something to do with supporting an outfit that, that had anything to do with killing him, they have a uh, reason to be outraged. So I think uh, the whole relationship has to be examined on the realistic basis, and uh, aid uh, should be conditioned on on uh, what kind of progress they make in bringing that situation under control, which has been out of control uh, for years. Now, they can cut off supply lines into Afghanistan, which can hurt our ability. They have enormous leverage over us, but at the same time, we have to have a realistic approach uh, to our relationship and not look at it through rose-colored glasses. What would you do? Well, again, I would, uh, and what we're doing here, uh, okay. Senator, my my friend Senator Lindsey Graham and others on the Appropriations Committee, and all of us, and us on the authorizing defense uh, on the Armed Services Committee, are looking at at conditioning aid to certain oh. progress that needs to be made, um, and uh, that I think. Would you break off relations with them? Pardon me. Would you break off relations with them? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't do that. But I would say that uh, we expect every reason to expect progress, and that progress will can be conditioned. Uh, the aid will be conditioned by that progress. Do you have a nice Thanksgiving? Uh, wonderful. I was uh, one of my son Jim is in as at Texas A&M, and we went to the Texas A&M football game on Thursday night. Didn't work out so well, did it? <laughs> oh, my. Uh, 88,000 very sad people in that stadium at the at the end of the game. It was a great game, but um, I felt pretty bad for those Aggies, I'll tell you. Well, that's the last time they're going to play, right? Yeah, greed, greed. You know, greed, it's amazing uh, how because uh, the Texas Longhorns have their own network and uh, A&M doesn't like it. They're leaving the conference. This whole, this whole thing that's going on right now, these realignment of these conferences, has everything to do with money and nothing to do with purity of the sport. It's okay. disgraceful. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, too, if I don't talk to you. Thank you. I hope to talk to you soon. Same to you, dear to Deirdre and Wyatt. Thanks, Senator. See you. Bye. Uh, Senator John McCain here on the Iowa program. Uh, the